gems how you doing this is V Dominoff and uh, I'm about to do an attempt on a Christmas wreath using a pool noodle so I'm going to begin this I have heaps of tape heaps of tape <laughs> my first thing that I want to do is get these out of the way so I'm going to use it with tinsel and Christmas balls we'll see how we go um, but first move now when I did see somebody do it they used gaffer tape but basically you are curving this around and you're going to tape this to make a ring the best way I'm doing this is actually putting pressure from the top if you try and do this round flat you're going to struggle uh, okay hang on I've got stuff still on that tape <laughs> Right, let's do as I did before. There we go. That's better. All right, first things first, I'm actually going to get this started on the actual, on one end of the pool noodle. So that's the Christmas ring. How easy is that? I have, so I've got the pool noodle, I got the tinsel, I brought two of these. is actually to glue, glue this in one point. I oh, will probably glue it down in a couple of different points as I go along but I do want this as a standing starting point. I just let that cool down a fraction. So the fun begins. <laughs> it is a long process of just gliding this through. got some hot glue on there but there we go there we go there's a little bit of a Christmas wreath I'll probably be hanging it with that bit up the top um, I just want to because that is actually where the tape is okay so it's just I just need to glue these balls on Butcha. come on out of the box Do you like my bin? The ground. Okay, in case you missed that, that just came off. <laughs> came apart. Not falling. That needs more. Now, 
what I did find is the copper wire so this is going to be a lot better this will get you stuck on the back you will see what I'm doing with that in a little bit but with the copper wire it is coloured lights so it is going to be nice and easy with the copper wire running it around Here we go, look at this. Okay, now the finishing touch. The finishing touch is just simply this bow, which is what's going to cover that section. Okay, and it's as easy as that. It wasn't that easy, but just remove that bit. This is all stapled together. I'm actually going to get this to hold a little bit firmer. With the glue gun to hold that just a tad firmer because it's just flopping around too much. Oops, that's glue warm. Okay, do the same for that bit as well because I don't like that flopping around. Get it to hold firm. It's still a bit warm. Of course it's a bit warm. So that will now go onto there. Probably up a little bit like that. Let's get this looking right up the right way. So we're going to pop that there. Um, and then once that's done, so here we go. Massive amount of good old pop glue to hold it there like that. Woof. And I'm just going to grab the last of this wire. Just want to get that just around. Just going to wrap it around. I'm not gluing it. Um, by not gluing it, gives me the ability to remove those lights later which is a lot easier than I did last time and I will just tape this onto here um, somewhere I'll just tape it just to hold it but there we go I will put a picture in here of what it looks like up and um, yeah it may only be a little bit, as you can see, it's a little bit lopsided, but hey, um, something I made as a Christmas. So I'll put it up on the uh, on the door, and I'll show you a picture of it, a uh, nighttime picture.